Hello everybody, welcome back to another Dark and Darker video. Today we are playing Barbarian. So what we're going to be doing is a super cheap setup. So first things first, we want to grab some health pots. Of course. We'll grab five stacks and then we'll grab another stack of bandages. And yes, I know I said super cheap, it's worth it. So next up, we are going to go over here to Copper Light, Lightfoot Boots. And just go ahead and get the cheapest ones. These ones are a little bit underpriced. We want to grab those. And they've got some resourcefulness and buff duration, which actually isn't too bad. And next up, what we want to do is we want to go grab a Bardiche. So let's go ahead, check the price of this. Bardiche, a blue one is 195. And then let's check what an epic one is. 400. We want to go ahead to grab a rare one in this case. Wow, that one's actually pretty good. Let's grab that. It's got max health and weapon damage. That's fairly good, actually. And now we're at 75 gear score. So what we need to do real quickly here is go grab a couple items that will up our gear score. So a health pot there. Let's check what a lockpick does. Nothing. And how about if we buy a couple rings of finesse as well? We need to get over 125 gear score here. I'm just trying to explain my thought process here so you guys can understand what I'm doing. 107 gear score. We need just a tad higher. Let's go ahead and get some riveted gloves we'll go with these uncommons are 57 not too shabby and then what does that put us at 118 what do these get us to that actually gets us to past what we need okay let's try an additional bottle gets us there we'll run with that okay and we're seeing some people load in this guy's got some cobalt on oh yeah that's what we like to see he's got grim smiles ring of finesse with true fizz true fizz copper light what's his speed 320 he's got a dread hood um this guy could just outrun us so we're not going to have an easy time going ahead and running him and cutting him down this guy is doing i don't know what build this guy is doing the zweihander keep your distance build and he's sitting at 304 and you can see we're sitting at 310 move speed these give us an additional seven move speed off of the default boots and they don't cost much money so they're very very good this guy's gear is beyond trash. Let's see what this fighter's got. Uh, looks like he's got a legitimate setup on. Is that with his weapon out? I need to I need to see your PDR, buddy. Okay, it's 52.4 without it out. 60.7%. So is this our guy? No, no, he's not our guy. We're only physical damage. Why would we try and go after someone that we would have a very hard time killing. That's not our guy. If we see him, he's not very fast. We'll just go kill someone else. How about this guy? This guy looks up our alley. He's a ranger. He had a padded tunic on, which makes me think I can probably catch him, but I need to be smart and he can shotgun me as well. So I need to be very smart. Okay, we spawn top right. We get, want this health pot and then we're gonna go ahead and turn around and run the other direction. Go ahead, go this way. Don't step on the spike trap over that way. Well, let's just run through all these mobs. We want the spider dead because it's a bit too fast for us. to realistically get out of the grips of. We're gonna put that guy away because it slows us down a lot. We wanna go straight to mid because there's a very common spawn at mid and generally everyone moves towards the middle of the map that actually wants to PVP. Although there's also another strategy where you go after people who don't want PVP. Hey, buddy. And this guy is bone. Mother 
the Rangers up there as well. That's not good. Get some more potions of healing in our inventory. Where'd the Ranger go? I saw a blue shield pot down there, but what is going on? I'm getting sniped as well. This is not a good fight for me. And I think this other guy knows it as well. He thinks, I think he knows it's not a good fight for him either. So what we want to do is we just want to go ahead and circle around. That's all we're going to do. We don't want to be in the middle of the cluster, you know? And we've got the move speed to support that, so we're not too worried about it. And we're going all the way around because we don't want to go through the spider room. We don't have, like, PDR or anything in this kit, so we kind of just... We got to be careful about all that stuff. Man, you got to be kidding me. I just sour spotted it repeatedly. And maybe we'll encounter some other players as we're running through like this. Lots of players nearby, that's why we're lagging. Need that Francisca act. We need this guy to dead ASAP. Right up on me there, that's the guy I was fighting before. We're doing this again. We're doing this. Oh, this guy's dead over here. We want to loot this guy's body. This guy is holding a grudge. Um, literally like five people here, I think. And there's already people who are dead. Let's keep this guy in the middle, because this guy's a problem. The fighter can't chase, but he can poke, which is annoying. Hey, stop this guy. Dead. I'm really low on health, though. Is that the barb again? You gotta be kidding me with this crap. We hit him twice there, but it was both limb shots. He's super, super hurt, so he's gonna... The fighter's over there as well. Okay, we need to heal. And we need him not to see us. What is going on in this game? I really don't get it. There's more players beneath me, it sounds like. No, behind me over there. Why is this goblin running this way? Is this guy running off to steal a health shrine? Probably. Close the door behind him, thinking he's getting a health shrine. 
Okay, we got that body open. Man, this guy is annoying. Are there players coming now? Thing go on. The rogue. That guy was so irritating. So, so irritating. We're gonna get this body full open first. Oh, he's in good gear. Please die. There's a player above me. Real quick, crap this shit. In good gear, but didn't know how to kit. Now I'm getting the picture. That shit's pretty bad compared to everything else here. Let's check the centipede while we're at it too. You never know. Extra healing pot's kind of nice. We want to leave. We want to leave immediately. What the hell is that? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Really? See, here's the thing. This guy has zero ability to chase me because I am fast. And I just took that guy's kit, which should have made me even faster. 320 move speed? Yeah, good luck, buddy. Catch me if you can. I won't do much damage to him, though, so we're not even trying. And let's leave. And we kind of got the loot off the other guys, too, because he had scooped part of it already. See, this guy's got some stuff, but it's basically nothing. His gear he has on is not bad. Like, don't let me make you guys think that. He's just a bit too hard of a fight after we already won a big one. Okay, we gotta see what these items are worth. We got these Lightfoot boots first off, which should be worth a pretty, pretty penny. Move speed bonus is our big guy here. There are rares. And looks like 300? Does physical power add anything? No, those have been listed forever. Let's just go ahead and remove the physical power. What's 13? 314 is what we'll list them for. 314. Physical power is not a bad roll. It's just not a very good roll. Brave Hunter's Pants with physical damage bonus. Yeah, it comes out to 500. That's pretty good. Copper Light Tunic. Oh, wait. That has max health bonus on it. 
And it's got magical healing. Does that add anything extra to it? Um, it might. I'm not really gonna worry about it. Let's just run it like this. Next up, we're gonna sell these reinforced gloves. They got physical damage bonus and action speed. Action speed, he is not foolish for taking, but you're actually better off with dexterity if you can. Sure, we'll sell it for 98. These are gonna slow sell, but I'm not gonna play much more after this. Let's see, these runestone gloves are pretty good. They've got good rolls on them, but runestone gloves don't go for much in the first place. Let's see, strength adds just a little bit, and then we want one additional physical damage. They rolled great, it's just they're runestone gloves, you know? If those had been like riveted gloves with that sort of rolls, oh my gosh, very expensive. Now this guy's running foul boots as well. Not really an item you see very often, apparently not all too expensive. But then we got four move speed and bam, 899. Those have max health bonus as well. I do think these are a bit worse. We're gonna sell these for 799 because I want them to sell today. And we got a tattered cloak with true physical damage, 288. These turn shoes have five additional move speed as well. And that situation was such a cluster there that I couldn't even really see what was going on and what I was looting. I could just tell some items good, some item not good, you know, the basics. This guy has plus five, it's 149 that we will get out of these. The Brave Hunter's pants are already sold. So I think we already made money just off of selling those. And then, wow, this y hander is not bad as well. I don't know if plus weapon damage is really the best thing on a y hander We want to do armor penetration, and we also want to do physical damage bonus. And yeah, it really doesn't get too expensive still. How much is that uh, just straight to the seller? Ah, we should still sell it. Let's go ahead and place it for 89. We're selling a couple more items. And then what do we got here? We got max health bonus and physical damage reduction. And then we have action speed looks like the main role on this guy. Um, I don't really get buying Grim Smile rings and then not getting really a single good roll on them. These are not the rolls you go for, guys. You want additional weapon damage if you want cheaper. And then you want true weapon damage if you're going a bit more expensive. Uh, I set it to most expensive. So we're already talking 750, like way more expensive, right? I don't really get this though. This just doesn't make much sense to me. There's a certain sweet spot with kidding when you get a lot more power for your dollar. And this guy was going two in the middle. We want to check physical damage reduction now. And I know max health bonus does make a difference. Yeah, we're talking 555. Yeah, let's run it. This guy's kind of nice. Three strength, one additional physical damage, 352. And then those copper light light foot boots we started with. Same with these rings, so we're not gonna sell those. Cloak of Darkness. Okay, I gotta teach you guys how to sell these. Okay, you see this, how it's 299? Don't sell this cloak for that. And you might be saying, oh yeah, cause it has action speed on it, which gets it up to here. And you'd be right. Here's the thing you're not seeing. That move speed bonus, that's a random roll. The white move speed bonus, this is a 1.4% one. They get all the way up to 1.5%. So we want to find a comparable cloak to sell. And I am just not seeing it. 1.3%. Um, and it has physical damage reduction. I think we got to go there. And we're going to go with 1776 on this. And remember, I grabbed his felling axe. This is a... It's a very well-rolled felling axe, not too shabby. This guy really wasn't kidding all that weird, although I don't know why he would pick a felling axe with that setup. That's just not what I would choose. I would once again go with the Bardiche or something with a little bit more range would really make all the difference for him. Or if you're going to go with the felling axe, then go also with the shout and everything that allows you to beat people up. We need a plus two weapon damage one. Where is it? There's a plus two weapon damage one. Looks like these take a while to sell, but that is... Huh, is that one better? I think so. I think that guy's better as well. We're going to list this for $9.99 uh, later. 
And then this has armor rating and physical damage bonus, which gets it to be worth quite a bit. I'm just going to show you guys what these are worth despite not being able to sell them. Physical damage bonus and armor rating. It would be better if it had armor rating and physical damage reduction. 300. Uh, not too shabby. And then Grave Wolf Gloves with physical power. Um, I don't... I don't think I've ever seen these before. I don't think I've ever had my hands on these before. 449 for base? That's pretty good. 700 just for one fizz power? These guys got two. Oh, we're talking a thousand gold. See, it's so easy to make money going in like this. And then I've still got this guy sitting around. Like, let's see that. It, it is a legendary bear pendant, but bear pendants are a straight downgrade off of necklace of peace it has good rolls too 600 i really didn't expect this to be worth as much as it is uh-huh i think it lines more up with the one above this has physical damage reduction as well i don't think those are gonna sell either this is magical healing too um was he trying to do the magical healing setup as well i think this is worth more we'll try and list that for 9.99 Let's list this guy for $9.99 first. We got a couple of items there that are really just worth quite a bit. And what did I spend to get into that lobby, guys? Like less than $500? That should show you guys just how good this is. And I came out up. And the nice thing is you're not going in with that much gear. So I can drop this if I find better gear. I can drop this if I find better gear. I can drop these if I find better gear. And I can wear all this sort of stuff. Problem is I can't take the health, the head spot with the Lizardman setup, but you got to take some losses, right? Okay, anyways, though, guys, I hope you guys like this video and you like this method. It is very good. You will die a lot of times, but it's high risk, high reward. Well, it's low risk, high reward, I should say. Anyways, though, guys, subscribe. Bye.